you know, there's a lot of people who have various policy proposals to, you know, make cybersecurity better, to make ML better, so on and so forth. But from my perspective as a technologist, as someone who, you know, writes code, as someone who used to work with and, you know, currently sort of still collaborates with big tech companies, there's always this challenge of implementation. Like, how are you actually going to affect the change that you want to see? And one of the big challenges I see in the ethical tech space is that there aren't as many technologists having deep conversations conversations with policy people, as we might hope. And also when we talk about these, you know, sort of attractive but nebulous concepts like privacy, you know, how do we actually make those concepts real? From an engineering perspective, at least. So, you know, from my perspective as someone who's done a lot of software engineering, the way you make it real is you create protocols, you create software frameworks that allow you to actually put into practice the policies or the ideals that you have. And so that's why I got, you know, interested in ETP, because this is what, you know, in my opinion, it's trying to do. It's trying to create these artifacts, these reference architectures, these stacks that, you know, real engineers and real people and companies can look at and say, ah, okay, this is a concrete example of a way forward.